right, we're on the Elephant Mountain Trail now. And we're heading up to get behind what do we, they call the fortress there. There are some Indian runs on top. And we are heading down to the wash down there. We'll walk up that for a while. And then we'll kind of curve up and around. And it is uh, 1025. Have a bit of a breeze, which is always pleasant, especially because I th do feel like it's humid today. And you can see the brittle bush is nice and pretty and green and it has little itsy bitsy buds. So these hills will come alive in a couple weeks, I imagine, once we start getting a little more heat. I've seen every kind of flower that the desert has to offer today, um, but mostly in its mini stage the, at this point. So, did see some nice bunch of paintbrush um, in one area, but I think that's because the soil is so conducive to, to paintbrush, and there'll be another area up here where we may see the same thing. I always like to thank the Boy Scouts uh, who put these little steps in. Um, it takes the steepness out of this otherwise straight down trail almost, and very slippery as you can see by looking at it. So one year, probably four or five years ago I bet, a troop came in and put these nice um, retaining pieces of wood and wrought iron in to make our walk on this trail much more pleasant. And it's also nice to have on, obviously on the uphill as well, but especially on the downhill so you can stop from skidding down the hill too quickly, like I'm about to do now. <laughs> Okay, we just came out of the wash. We're kind of still in the area of the wash. We'll be going back into it, I think, for a little bit and then back out again. And I hear people, um, but I think they're up there. Okay, and that mountain I was looking at earlier, doggone it. No, I can't tell which one it is because this looks like this is Sugarloaf here. And that's Black Mesa there. But I can't remember which one I if I go between them or if I'm in front of this one here. I think I go between them when I did the hike from the other area. We're at the saddle of Elephant Mountain, which is technically behind me here. And that rock piece looks somewhat like an elephant. And we're headed this way. And that's the fortress up there. You can see the um, ruins of the walls. And then going back toward Elephant Mountain here. That kind of looks like an elephant there, that little rock formation part of the hill. Lost my light again. It's so pretty when the sun lights up the Choya. And we're looking to the west. Fairly clear today. today. That mountain right in front of you there is um, 
mm, black mountain or black mesa. It's the one above Cave Creek. Black mountain, I think. And you can climb to the top of that. I think it's like a mile and a half or something up. Straight up. And it's so clear today we can see to the flat iron and weaver's needle. I'm on full zoom. And we'll be heading this way, which is east. There's a parking lot down there. I don't know if I can zoom in to see Tonto or not. But we'll zoom in just for the heck of it. That's a um, parking lot for Spur Cross. So we'll see a couple horse trailers. And then that's the main area where you can hike, you take your various trails from there. And we're looking more or less to the east, slightly southeast, I think. And there is the always present Skull Mesa. It's funny when I see poppies, I, I suddenly feel myself smiling. How beautiful, huh? I'm going to call this Poppy Drive. We've got a couple corners with poppies. This one here, and then over there. I'll zoom a little bit here to that one corner in particular. It has lots of poppies. So that's going to be Poppy Corner there. Isn't that something? I wonder what it's going to like be, it'll be like, like in a week or something. Jump it, Joya! And this is coming along uh, what I'm calling Poppy Curve. Even though it's not curving yet, it's coming to a curve. And uh, there's another loop in there. It's the second one I've seen. Look all up in here. More looping. I mean, sorry, Poppy. It's just so fresh and crisp. Telling me that the uh, desert is springing up spring. Okay, see what I mean by poppy curve? Gosh, I'm actually gonna have to stop because I have to take a gazillion pictures because the setting is just marvelous. <laughs> Last year was just a terrible year for spring flowers and this year well oh look that big patch down there let me zoom in look at that I'm taking lots of movie because this is always a time you like to remember as you get older the times that make you smile
It's something else. Just wish I could photograph it. Where are those Arizona Highways photographers when you need them? Golf anyone? Look at this. And I already passed an area with tons of green grass. Just outstanding. Oh, there goes the bunny rabbit. <laughs> Yep. Just beyond the pale. Today, it's a re reward for hiking all these hard miles I hiked earlier. So the problem is, is I'm not getting home because <laughs> I'm getting distracted. But like they say, enjoy the moment. It's not like I have to be home by a certain time, but I always consider my hikes training hikes as well. These kind anyway for those big hikes. Look at that, huh? Wow. <laughs> Teeing off anytime, huh? Okay, we're on the Crown of the Jewel trail. Almost done for the day. But this is always something I like to stop and look at. I believe there are some bed willows down there, which is rare. But there was a fire some time ago. And I don't think that they've yet recuperated from that, although it's hard to say right now, obviously because uh, spring is just springing now. But the cottonwoods are pretty awesome. And then you have uh, your Sugarloaf Mountain, Black Mesa, Elephant Mountain, and that way is the Cave Creek Recreational Area if you go up and over that hill. And Cave Creek is right below us. I can hear it, but you can't see it. And this is the trail. It's a fairly new trail, probably four years old maybe. They did a great job. It's a fun trail that anybody can do and really enjoy what Cave Creek and Spur Cross has to offer. Highly recommend it. Any time of year really.